My name's Jane Anderson and I'm the programme lead for undergraduate architecture. Um, all, all the subjects that we teach in undergraduate architecture are connected to design. Um, so we have a diverse range of undergraduate units that, um, that are taught by leading practitioners in international practices um, with, uh, across the, from across the world and also they're taught by academics who are at the leading edge of their subject as well. So we connect practice and academia. So can you explain is it a section detail, a plan detail, and what the construction is? Within the undergraduate course, design is half of the course. It's a very, very important subject. But we have other academic subjects supporting that. So we teach representations or how to draw, whether by hand or digitally, learning to draw, to make models, to make prototypes. And we teach all of those skills. And it's something that uh, Oxford Brookes is particularly renowned for is the quality of our students' ability to be able to express their ideas in visual and physical form. We also teach technology, so um, that, that's something that we know that we can really build on people's you know, innate understanding of the world around them. So we really go for an experiential way of teaching technology. So everybody has an innate understanding of the light and the space and the, the, the temperature within a building. And we really, really emphasize that. And so students think about how to make a building comfortable, how to make it stand up and how to physically construct it. We also teach history and theory. So that's about the architect's cultural significance within society so so the history of, of architecture obviously but also the the thoughts the thinking the theory behind you know what architects have produced in the past so do you want to tell me what you've done in addition to teaching design we also teach several subjects that feed into design all of the subjects that we teach are connected so we teach representation we we um, our students learn very useful skills um, for hand drawing making but also digitally drawing and making models and renders and prototypes using digital and hand making skills and our students achieve absolutely excellent results and are very sought after by practices because their skills are very very up to date. Um, we also teach technology, so what, how do you make a building, how do you make it stand up, how do you make it comfortable, and we relate all of that to, directly to experience. So our students um, would not just take that information from a lecture theatre, they would go to a building, they would study that, they would talk to the people that worked and lived in that building and find out how, how comfortable it was to live in. So everything's related to directly to personal experience and also to our design work. So everything connects, it's, it, things aren't kept in compartments. It's very important to us not to keep the subjects that we teach in little bubbles or little compartments. All of the subjects that we teach connect and connect to the world outside and connect to the students' own direct experience in their design work. That's very important for us. So you get the plasterboard, which is, you've all seen plasterboard, it's like uh, it's a sheet. And you get plaster, which is a, uh, it's like a, you know, it's a powder and you mix it and then you kind of, with a, with a trowel, you apply it onto the wall to make it, to make a smooth finish. You know? You'll never find yourself within a lecture th theatre learning about the bending moment of a beam and wondering why someone is teaching it because almost immediately you'll be back in the design studio and able to apply what you just learnt into your design project. So there's a very di direct connection between theory and practice within the school and ample opportunity to apply what you've learnt very quickly into your design work and I think that makes it really invigorating and a really lively course that engages students. Um, you could have googled plasterboard thickness uh, to find out that it's 12 and a half mil. So you might have, you know, one sheet of plasterboard which is 12 and a half mil. Yeah. And that would be kind of the external, let's say that this is the external side. The undergraduate course at Oxford Brookes has got a very, very high reputation within the profession, uh, you know, within students of architecture. 
nationally and internationally. I think that's partly to do with the quality of the work that the students produce. It, um, their work is visually very arresting. It, it provokes interesting ideas that are relevant to the future direction of the practice. Probably that's in part due to the fact that we have design tutors who are um, a mixture of leading edge practitioners and also academics who are at the forefront of their subject. So that dialogue between practice and academia is going on within the design studio and it makes it a very vibrant um, school of architecture. It's a large school of architecture so we have a really good um, large number of units for students to choose from that allow them to focus their interests and that also I think is part of the successful um, nature of the school and the fact that we have lots of things going on like exhibitions, live projects, publications, lots of things for students to get involved in that really pick up on their individual interests and aspirations.